The truth is God's word and spirit, birthing God's will or purposes in our life and reigning against all lies, falsehood and other facts or things contrary to God's will. The truth is not what you have to say. The truth is the truth. You don't have the truth. There are people who come to share testimony and add to it. There are people who exaggerate text. Do you understand? Exaggerate. They say, now we are 1,000 in our church. is a lie. If you are 100, you are 100. You don't even need to mention anything. Just believe God for one. We are believing God for 1,000. It's better. Now we are 1,000. Are you getting what I'm saying? That is not the truth. It's lie. Life everywhere, in pulpit, in boardroom. Let me tell you something. You can have a form of falsehood. You know, Bible says people have a form of godliness and they deny their power. The form of godliness is talking about is that people appear as if they are truthful or they are liars. People are too deceitful. They appear the way they are not. It's in Tanzania. It's claiming to be in uh, Paris. What do you need that for? At this stage, falsehood everywhere. You see, people are not open. They are not playing. And you know somebody that will be full of lies and full of falsehood, they find it difficult to be expressive. They are always into themselves. You don't know their next move. You cannot predict. Even if you sleep, wake up, sleep, wake up. If you truly find somebody who is faithful and truthful, the person will be playing like this. There shouldn't be anything you are hiding. Jesus was going to die. In two, three years' time, he started mentioning it. He was saying it to them now. He was mentioning things. He was talking about future to them. He was assuring them. He was teaching them. He was impacting them. He was open to them. He was a robber that was keeping his treasury, the ministry treasury. Don't you think he didn't know? He knew. He needed everybody. All of them must not be holy. Are you getting what I'm saying? He needed a doubter. He needed a denier. He needed a betrayer. He needed a, all kinds of people. He needed them. And that 12 disciples is an example of a typical church. So any pastor who is betrayed and is offended doesn't know the scripture. The only thing is, when you are being betrayed, make sure they don't hang you on the cross. Jesus already died on the cross. But the cross that we want to hang you on won't take your natural life or your spiritual life. Are you getting what I'm saying? But there are other crosses that when they are nailing you, say, yay, won't do me Are you getting what I'm saying? 